Welcome to Streamer, the website that lets you communicate with anyone, anywhere, at any time, in most any language. Streamer captions and translates conversations, plus a lot more. Because it's a website, it runs on pretty much everything. Desktops, laptops, Chromebooks, tablets, iPhones, Android phones, and more. You can use the same account on a desktop at work, a tablet at home, and a phone when you're on the go. There are a lot of features built into Streamer, but it's really easy to get started. All you do is open up a Chrome browser and go to the website, which is www.streamer.center. If you already have a user account, just go ahead and sign in. And if you don't have one, it's really quick to create one by clicking on this register link. User accounts are completely free, and you can create as many as you want. Since I already have my user account, I'll use that to sign in. When I do, it brings me to my personal streamer lobby, and here I can see all the various rooms that I can use to caption and translate my conversations. With each streamer subscription, you receive your own personal, private, and secure captioning room, where you alone control all the access and security settings. In my case, my employer, Avante, has purchased four streamer subscriptions, or four streamer rooms, that we use to caption and translate our meetings and conversations at work. Plus, I have my own personal room that I use to caption private conversations with family and friends. Simply click on a room, and when you're ready, click on the microphone, and now everything that you say will be instantly captioned, just like it is now. Notice that I didn't have to install any apps or download any software. All I did is went to the website and logged in. And that's what my friends will do as well. All they need to do is go to the website, log in, and I'll be able to see a captioning of everything they're saying, just like you're seeing a captioning of what I'm saying right now. Over here in the left column, you see the name of the person who is speaking, in this case me. And if you hover over that name, you'll see a picture of that person. Over here on the right column, I can see everybody that's included in this particular conversation. For example, here's my friend Alex. Alex is from Japan and only speaks Japanese, so everything that I'm saying right now, she sees and hears in Japanese her native language. And when she responds by speaking Japanese, I'll see and hear it in my language, which of course is English. There's lots of other features that you can do within Streamer. For example, if I wanted to send a private message to Alex, all I do is click on her name like this, type the message, and there it's sent. This is a private message that only Alex sees. It's not part of the actual transcript. In addition to her being able to see it, it's also stored in her notifications window, which is up here on the upper right column. Next to that is the account settings, where I can change all the various parameters for my particular account, such as the language I'll be using. Next to that is the help menu with all the various commands that you can use to customize Streamer for your preferences. Down here in the streamer settings menu, I can do a lot of different things, for example, downloading a transcript. I can select different formats, for example, if I wanted to save this in a Word document, I'd select this format. I won't do that right now. Again, you control all the access to your particular room. Since this is my room, if I want, I can turn off that feature to download transcripts. So if for some reason I don't want people to have that ability, I'll simply turn it off. Some other features that I can do with Streamer are, for example, sharing documents. If I wanted to share a document with everybody in my meeting, I just drag it into the transcript window, click Attach, and Send. There, now everybody has it. It's showing up directly in their computer in their transcript. All these features make it easy to use Streamer pretty much anywhere. The same account can be used for a private conversation with a friend, a meeting at work, to caption or translate a seminar or conference presentation, you can use the overlay mode to caption webinars. It's also being used to caption and translate sporting events in stadiums. And in my company's case, we use it to translate meetings with our development teams in Mexico and Japan. We speak English on our end, and on their end they speak Spanish and Japanese. And everything anyone says is simultaneously translated and spoken aloud in each person's language. And one more very important point. Streamer is designed to be completely secure. Unlike cart systems, there is no mystery third-party person listening in on your conversations. With Streamer, you alone control all the access and permission settings for your captioning. Because your privacy is important, all data sent to and from the Streamer website is fully encrypted in all directions. And unlike firms like Microsoft, Amazon, and Facebook, your data is never sold or shared with anyone ever. Never has, never will. Well, that's a quick overview of Streamer, but there are a lot more features. 
To learn more, go to www.streamer.center and click on the More Information link, or simply sign up for a free account by clicking on the Register link. That's all it takes to get started.